we host during the year because I'm among thinkers, misfits, entrepreneurs, decision makers, and such a good looking crowd like you. That's really outstanding. So I hope you're ready to share wisdom and be disrupted. This is my first time attending the League of Leading Ladies Conference. It has been absolutely remarkable. I'm blown away by the attendees, the caliber, the, the mixed backgrounds. I've loved all the speakers. I've just loved the organization. The talks are relevant, they're practical. Especially interesting, I found the people behind the stories, as I am in innovations management. I see a lot of disruption, questions about disruption every day. So I'm really interested in the people behind the stories and um, my takeaway is really you need to believe in your own story even if there are pitfalls, if there are obstacles in the way. Um, if you want to master disruption, believe in your path, believe in your way. Fascinating conference. I was here last year for the first time. I highly recommend coming. So my topic then was deep solutions for deep disruption. Today we did a workshop that went into the nuts and bolts of actual things that we can do to deal with disruption. And uh, yeah, it was a great workshop. I had a good interaction with the participants. We had lots of fun. I spoke about cyber war and how all of us should be prepared for cyber war. And um, the topic was very relevant to a lot of people. A lot of women came back to me and said, wow, you know, we weren't really aware that this is such a big issue, but they kind of really got educated through the session. So to me, that was very, very good. For me, on this uh, Leading Ladies Conference, it was disruptive that you could tattoo yourself and that there were actually ladies that did it. Courage, really great, I think. In our workshop, we discussed the future of learning and how the future job market will look like. It was interesting the different opinions that um, were discussed. It seems that the Swiss industry is not really well prepared for the changes ahead. What was also interesting is that uh, the education system should be completely changed. And the third take home lesson was that the latest insights in brain research actually are really interesting and could also impact the way we learn. The League of Leading Ladies is for me one of the most impressive events of the year. Lots of, in, lots of information, lots of new vibes and input to the actual situation in economics, world and culture. So for me it's a honor to be here. I'm very proud to be one of the members of this wonderful conference. We just came from this uh, workshop where 30 different people developed alter egos in 90 minutes and they were networking as their alter egos and they created these identities that are a little bit of an escape from the person they normally are. And so I think so often we have this script of who we should be in life that either comes from childhood or is reinforced by you know, our companies or by our communities. And so this was an opportunity to play with our personalities. So it was really fun. Uh, it was a lot of laughter and a lot of crazy characters. And uh, some people cried even because they were so excited about the alter egos they developed. So I just love how real everyone is, how authentic they are, and how sort of emotionally accessible they were uh, throughout these three days.
I spend a lot of time in the developing world, and you know, I, and a lot of our business is about listening to women. And you come here, and the concerns are the same. The issues are so similar. You know, women, I think, globally have so much more in common than than actually divides them. And we should use that strain, really. And women are so much more action driven, yeah. right? And they want to get their hands dirty and make yeah. a change for themselves, for families, for communities, yeah. um, and for the organizations that they yeah, serve. Sure. And so tapping into that potential here as well is very exciting. Yeah, exactly. I taught a workshop on millennials in the workplace and the key takeaway from that is really the fact that um, by 2030, 75% of the workforce is going to be millennial. And so, as I like to say, they're kind of this freight train that's coming and we can't stop them. They're, they're going to come in and really disrupt the workforce in a lot of different ways. The workshop really focused on that, but what an interesting takeaway was that um, a lot of the women said, hey, I'm not a millennial, and all the things that you're saying um, about learning and development would really benefit me as well. And so a great takeaway from that is that, yes, the millennials are going to disrupt the workforce for really the better of all of us. What I, I loved most about this workshop was really just the relationships I was able to build with people. This opportunity was full of women who are part of interesting backgrounds and um, really were able to teach me a lot as well, so um, it's been a pleasure. Women in leadership brings a lot of energy. Um, there's a lot of creativity. We try to look today in the workshop at the risks, but also the opportunities that this gives to us. There's a lot of risk associated with disruptive changes. Technology, of course, is all over the place. And this is something that people might be afraid of. I think as women in leadership, we are best placed to really bring our creativity to the table and really make a change. I'm really, really, really happy to join this community. And uh, so many great uh, contacts I got, so many fantastic women I met and the keynotes was really impressive and got a good learning, good inspiration and I hope I got a second invitation next year. So what really disrupted me during the last two days was the sheer speed of uh, technology and the way that we we really need to adapt to this, uh, this big change in, in our lives and of course what I really enjoyed was the whole friendly ambiance here, these great ladies who are so interesting. I had such interesting conversations with so many people. So I'm going home with uh, my head full of ideas. Thank you very, very much for these two days. I gained uh, some, some interesting insights regarding the time we live in and of course also the future to come. So I'm looking forward to the future and maybe to see you again next year. Thank you. What we are facing right now is, first of all, threatening, but also encouraging. And sort of that balance I find really inspiring. And I thank Sandra Stella for putting this up. Thank you so much. Disruptive times. Yes, we are in disruptive times. And I think uh, it's very important still to keep focus and to continue um, being human and also being together and sharing um, our impressions uh, to shape together the future and I very much look forward to next year's conference here in Interlaken with the League of Leading Ladies. Thank you so much. Yeah.